Good evening. I know it's uh, been a long month or two. Uh, I know that uh, a lot of you have come into contact with our officers over the last several days, and some of those contacts haven't been the greatest in the world. We have tried to uh, err on the side of caution, uh, and I know that we have blocked some roads that uh, uh, some of you felt that you could get down, and uh, uh, that caused some, some friction. Uh, and we are constantly, constantly reevaluating uh, what we are doing as far as closing roads and keeping people out. Uh, one of the things that we are doing, uh, we will be putting signs up and basically leaving it to the people who live in the area that know uh, what the waters are like, and that would be do not cross when flooded. Uh, and, and so that relieves our officers from having to make those decisions and, and basically leaves it to the people who live in the area and have seen the depth of the waters. Our officers have tried to get to the area when the, the first major flooding event took place. Uh, we closed many of the roads and kept them closed until uh, Public Works was able to clear them and then we opened them up. And our desire uh, is to get people back to their homes and, and get them uh, so that they can bring resources into their homes as quickly as possible. So I would ask that you, you, you hang with us in that regard, uh, and I know it will be frustrating. Every time now that we see clouds building over the, the mountain, uh, we are having officers sent to the area preparing to, to close off uh, roads and prepare for another flood event. I want to thank the Department of Public Safety. They obviously have primary uh, responsibility on 89, uh, and uh, they have worked very, very closely with us throughout the fire event and now the flood event. Also, Arizona Game and Fish, uh, as you may remember during the uh, fire, they uh, had 25 officers here assisting uh, in the evacuations and in road closures and reentry. And once again, they are here uh, helping Coconino County. And so I want to express uh, our, our gratitude to that agency for their continued help. Uh, I, uh, one of the things that I, I, I want to, to uh, just mention, uh, it has been a long week. Uh, some people uh, have been devastated. Uh, they are, they are, are bailing. They are moving sandbags. Uh, and in some, time, in some areas, tempers are getting short. Uh, as was mentioned before, I would just ask that you consider your neighbor when, when placing your sandbags and your waddles because what you do may have an adverse effect on your neighbor. And we've had a, a couple instances where officers have been called to uh, a location because of a, a community dispute or a, a neighbor dispute. And most of those have been resolved very quickly and, and basically the neighbors have come together uh, and, and have worked it out themselves. And I would just ask that uh, we have seen such, such wonderful workings in our communities and neighbor helping neighbor. I, I, we hope and we want that to continue and, and so just, just be on, on guard for that. We will be downstairs. If you have uh, questions, comments, advice, we'll be there uh, in, until you're done. So thank you and God bless.